So we're going to do taping for lateral elbow pain, so whether it be extensor tendinosis, whether it be tennis elbow, even golfer's elbow, because the only difference here will be if we're taping for medial elbow pain is that it's on the flexor side. Obviously we're going to do the extensor side here, which is more to do with that tennis elbow. So very, very simply, once again, this is a very simple approach because basically all we're doing is stabilizing right along the length of the extensors and then we're going to decompress obviously where the side of the pain is. So it's actually really quite simple. So it's just a matter of getting the length of your tape right. So you want to come just short of the epicondyle and just past a little past the wrist because we want to use the back of the wrist as our anchor point. So just tear off your, your anchor, place that down over the back of the wrist itself okay then you're going to put the wrist in as much flexion as you can all right like so and then run along the outside of the extensors once again at about 40 to 60 percent stretch give it a good rub come with your decompression now so that's then going to come right across where the pain is. So wherever they feel that pain is where you're going to decompress. So we're just going to come across like so. The easiest way to do that is get them to make a fist and then they push up against you. And that you should pretty well much find that you can locale the pain quite simply. Peel your backing tape like so. And play straight over that point like that. Okay. And there you have for extensor tendinosis tennis elbow. If you're doing medial and you're doing golfer's elbow, it is exactly the same. As I said, it's a mirror image, so you're going to run along basically the flexor line and then you're going to decompress over the side of pain there. Really simple, highly effective.